Planes, trains, and cars are all potential places where the COVID-19 virus could take a foothold. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia tells us what's being done to make those forms of transportation less likely to spread the coronavirus. Well, guys, buses run by the city of Raleigh as well as Go Triangle are now undergoing more frequent sanitation procedures and using more efficient means as worries about the COVID virus continue to inflate. The sanitizing devices used on Go Triangle buses may be quiet, but they're effective. We are making sure that we take special precaution on the high touch areas, you know, the things that people touch, the, the pool thing, the um, rails, all the things people touch. Prior to the appearance of COVID-19, Go Triangle buses were simply wiped down with a hospital grade disinfectant. Now the transportation agency has added new equipment to make the application of that disinfectant more efficient. Now we have bought some straight uh, sprayers that we're using to um, spray the seats and other areas. For bus passengers, it makes sense. If you're in some kind of service industry, you're going to do that. That's a precautionary measure. If you want to stay in business, it'd behoove you to do that. Airlines like Delta also upping their disinfection game using fogging devices to spray a high-grade disinfectant, which the EPA says is effective against many diseases, including the coronavirus. Some airports, like those in Iran, are also spraying down ticket counters and other public areas where the virus may reside. Amtrak says it's following CDC guidance and enhancing its cleaning protocol on both its rolling stock as well as its stations. It's also increased the frequency of those cleanings. Uber announced in an email it may temporarily suspend the accounts of users and drivers who've tested positive for COVID-19. It also says it'll provide drivers with disinfectants to wipe down their vehicles between runs. Even before the COVID-19 outbreak, Go Triangle buses routinely had sanitizer available on board, but some passengers say they won't rely on that alone. I always carry hand sanitizer and pray for the best. And while you're on a bus like this, health experts say it's a pretty good idea not to eat or drink when you're on the bus in case your hands touch a contaminated surface. Then you end up putting those hands to your mouth as you're ingesting the food or drink. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.